Hi, this is Amy Lewis. This is Engineers Unplugged. Hi, this is Amy Lewis, and we're back with another awesome episode of Engineers Unplugged. I'm here with Melissa and Ahmad, and they wandered by the Cisco booth, and I was like, hey, how about getting on Engineers Unplugged? So, uh, FlexPod, take it away. All right. Hi, guys. Um, so, Ahmad, I think we should start with probably telling them what exactly a FlexPod is. Right. right. So, you know, you have your reference architecture, right? right? So, it consists of your Nexus. Right. I don't draw so good. <laughs> Cisco Nexus. Right. Then you have your UCS. Right, with our right. fabric interconnects. Whoa, what kind of box <laughs> is that? <laughs> and of course, because I'm kind of partial, I would say I'm VMware. I'm a bit partial too, but no, but no, no, we forgot one important component first. That, exactly, we forgot the most important thing, the NetApp fast storage. I was getting to that. You, yeah, okay, Ahmad, whatever you say. <laughs> well, you have to have something to run on your blades, right? Exactly. So we were exactly. already at the blade level, and then so, we'll work so our way down. So now we can go back to the blade level. All right, all right. So what, VMware, Hyper-V, Hyper -V, OpenStack. Red Hat, pretty much whatever you want to run on your FlexPod, we have a validated design for it. And what that validated design is going to show you how to do is from end to end how to deploy your FlexPod. Um, if you want to do that yourself, if you want to just say, I'm going to buy a FlexPod and deploy it myself, go for it. Um, you might want to have a FlexPod partner like Ahmad come in and deploy it for you. Well, it's also app specific too, right? right? So it's not just at the hypervisor level. You can have things like Exchange or SAP or things like that that you can uh, deploy as well. So, so Melissa, tell me if coming into this new, right, being a new partner, if the only thing I know, let's say, is the Nexus, the UCS, you know, FIs, mm -hmm. and you know, maybe I've never touched right. NetApp, right? Exactly. From a, you know. From an admin perspective, what do I need to know to get started? Well, let's start on kind of understanding how everything works together. So everybody knows with Cisco Nexus, I can pretty much do any protocol on any port I want to. Um, UCS, I'm going to abstract the blade's personality from the hardware. Service profile. Service profile, exactly. So I can run anything on any blade I want basically by rebooting it and applying a new service profile. Now NetApp Storage, we're a unified storage platform, so on this NetApp FAS, you can do any storage protocol you want. You can do NFS, Fiber Channel, iSCSI, FCOE, plus you can use all our uh, storage efficiencies like dedupe, compression, flex clones, and anything like that. So the theory behind all of this is really, really similar. And of course we have something called the uh, NetApp VSC, which is our integration between NetApp Storage and vSphere. So it lives in your vSphere environment, it fits right into your 5.5 uh, five five web client, it looks like it belongs there, and it lets you do anything you want on your NetApp Storage from uh, your VMware infrastructure. So anything as such as I can maybe clone, clone I can take snapshots. Take snapshots, deploy new data stores. Yep. So you can just have your storage admins carve you up a hunk of storage, and as a VMware admin, you can just do whatever you need to. And to it's it. also permission-based, permission right? Permission-based so at all, yes. So let's say I'm the storage guy, and I'm worried about my VMware admin going rogue, right? I can exactly. basically smack his hand, lock him down, and make sure only that let this him is do only... what you want to. Exactly. exactly. So, okay. So within this FlexPod, we kind of have three flavors of FlexPod. So we have, this is our tradi traditional FlexPod, and it's FlexPod Data Center. You know, you could just write data center. I could just write data center, <laughs> but it's a FlexPod data center. Well, FlexPod is up here. I'm on. <laughs> so FlexPod data center, and, and these are kind of going to be the pillars of your infrastructure in your data center. It's going to run your big applications. It's going to run your vSphere. It's going to run your SharePoint, your Exchange. What about um, my, your VDI my SMB type customer so, or yeah, my... So you your know. SMB cu uh, customer, we have something called FlexPod Express. So for the SMB space, you might use a smaller FlexPod data center with not as many blade chassis, not as much storage, or you might use a FlexPod Express, which will use the Cisco C-Series blade servers and a FAS 2500. So this is really good for um, your SMBs, your small sites, stuff like that. So you can have your FlexPod data center in your main data center, then you can have your FlexPod Express 
um, in your satellite sites and you can manage everything the same way with your NetApp storage tools, with your UCS director, um, with your UC, UCS director, I already said that. So <laughs> use the same management tools between everything. And then we have one more called FlexPod Select. Okay, so what does FlexPod Select do? FlexPod Select is your really uh, high performance solution with a very specific purpose. So for example, we have a Hadoop reference architecture with hex FlexPod Select. So that's geared to be very super high performance Hadoop. Uh, and we also have an SAP HANA type appliance coming out. Again, very application specific for a specific use case. So that kind of sums it up. Um, so Ahmad, what do you think of FlexPod? Do you understand how the components work a little better, how they're kind of similar? and how they kind of lend each other to you know, fitting in the full solution stack. Yeah, especially now explaining you know, the NetApp fast piece, that exactly. makes a lot of sense, especially the, the three different types right. of deployments you can mm -hmm. have, so yeah. Okay, that was awesome. I always love when we get our one-on-one -on -one and we can explain something <laughs> to someone. Um, now, because we've had never had an episode where there was so much heckling, both on stage I know. and off stage. Heckle, heckle. Thank you. <laughs> I, I think, Melissa, that uh, you, you've you earned your way back. I think Thank it's you. time for you to take the unicorn challenge, and Melissa's <laughs> going to heckle you while you do oh, it. Yeah. Okay, so go, on. heckle unicorn. Go, Oh my God, you actually <laughs> want me to draw a unicorn? Yeah, start drawing. Oh my Melissa's God. Melissa's only role is to heckle All Ahmad right. during this process. Right. <laughs> what is that? I'm going to tell what you, I'm going to tell you right now, I failed at art. I got kicked out of art at, you know, Come so. Come on, keep All right. What is that, a mod? I'm guessing that's a horn, maybe. It's got a, it's got a frowny face. <laughs> that is face. the saddest unicorn I've ever seen in my entire life drawn by a mod. <laughs> there we go. The very first heckling unicorn challenge. So uh, I think it's clear we need to stick to the technology. <laughs> yeah, Pretty let's, much. Let's stick to the technology. And no more drawing. Yeah. <laughs> no more drawing. We'll see you next time on Engineers Unplugged. Thank you.